This video ranks the top NBA signature celebrations in the game today. LeBron's 39 piece in Indianapolis and daggers down the stretch wasn't the first time Pacer fans have seen King James show off his Kobe-esque get down or lay down celebration. Jamal Murray's Archer release after hitting a dagger earned him the nickname we all call him to this day. King James and the Blue Arrow are two of the eight superstars who've become known for displaying some iconic sellies. Stay tuned to see the most legendary in-game celebration of them all at number one. Before continuing, only 20.9% of you watching right now are subscribed, so help the channel reach 50k by subscribing if you haven't already. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes just a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Number 8, Steph Curry tap and point to the sky. It's pretty simple, but this reaction from Steph after he makes a 3 pointer has become a staple in the Curry family. It's been done by Steph's mom, Sonia, as well as the legend Riley Curry. A few years ago, Steph explained why he does this after every three-pointer he hits, saying, Back in college my freshman year, my mom and I started that. Every time after the national anthem stopped, I'd find her in the stands whenever she came to my game, and we'd do the sign to each other. Basically means have a heart for God. It keeps the perspective for me, why I play the game and where my strength comes from. I started to do it just to her, and then it became a thing after I made it. After each play, after I made a shot, it's been a good kind of grounding. Number 7, Jamal Murray the Archer. The killer Canadian who dominated back in the bubble had the nickname of the Blue Arrow given to him back in college when, at Kentucky, Jamal Murray became notorious for expressing how hyped up he was after a three-pointer by mimicking an arrow with his arms. The celebration from Jamal is intimidating, swift, and original, which is probably why we saw Devin Booker copy it when he was facing the Nuggets in 2018. It's not just your typical fist pump or three-point hand gesture. The Blue Arrow Selly has some spiciness to it. The Nuggets combo guard is currently recovering from an ACL tear, which will keep him out until around the 2022 playoffs. If the reigning MVP, the Joker, can keep the Nuggets in the playoff hunt, and let's say Jamal returns in the last few weeks of the season, that would make Denver a really dangerous lower seed. Number six, James Harden's cooking dance. James hasn't done it in years, but his cooking dance became one of the most widely known, hilarious, and straight up dope in-game celebrations of all time. His stirring of the pot perfectly described how he was mixing up defenders off the dribble, and I hope Harden starts doing this again. Number five, Russell Westbrook, rock a baby. Westbrook was once known for his three-point finger gun celly, but over the years, he's made his go-to celebration the rock a baby. Again, Devin Booker tried to copy this celly. D-Book's gotta start thinking of some celebrations himself, but I don't blame Booker for copying this because it's damn swaggy. For opposing players, it's gotta be a scary sight when Russ not only blows past you for the layup, but hits you with the stone cold rock a baby. It's almost as if Russ is saying to you, you're too damn small in the most serious way possible without saying anything at all. Westbrook struggled a lot to begin this season, leading me to make this video calling him out, but since that video, Russ has started to pick up his play, so we'll see if the man continues to rock a baby in his matchup's grill. Number 4, D'Angelo Russell, Ice in My Veins. Russell's currently one of the biggest pieces, leading the Minnesota Timberwolves to a really solid start to the season so far. Back when he was with the Lakers and Nets, D-Loading established a reputation as an efficient scorer in the clutch, and his intimidating point to his vein while simultaneously shouting, I've got ice in my veins, signified D'Angelo's ability to get buckets under pressure. For the sake of basketball fans in Minneapolis who've suffered through a lot over the last decade plus, let's hope D'Angelo can provide more of his patented celly preceded by clutch daggers for that fan base. Number 3, Carmelo Anthony, 3 to the Dome. Melo spent over half a decade getting money over my Raptors, as considering the Knicks were in the same division as us, my hometown team played a prime Carmelo four times a year. While Dwayne Casey and our wing defenders did a decent job holding him in check, whenever Melo did drain a three, whether it was on a cold shooting night or not, his three-pointer to the Dome celebration always crushed my soul as an opposing fan. But what many actually don't realize is that this celebration was actually first done by Portland Trailblazer legend Rasheed Wallace, but Melo certainly made putting the three to your dome after you make a three-pointer as popular as it is to this day. 
we're going to see this copied for generations to come. Number two, Damian Lillard, Dame Time. Dame Time has become a classic Selly, copied on the playground and the pros. We've seen Kyrie imitating the Dame Time celebration, and Lillard's tapping to the invisible watch on his wrist just shows off the man's pure poise and swag in the biggest moments. Damian's one of the clutchest players in the NBA, and it's a shame he's had to deal with the sorry Portland Trailblazers front office, who failed to fill the roster with legitimate defensive players. Around a top backcourt in Damon CJ, the Blazers have been needing to fill their roster with stoppers for half a decade now, but the team currently ranks number 28 in defensive rating at Thanksgiving. In the clutch, the Blazers have always had a legit number one guy to throw it to, as Dame's had some all-time great game winners in his tenure as a Blazer. The Dame time point to your watch has cemented itself as an unforgettable NBA Selly. Number one, LeBron James, the silencer. Last night against the Pacers, after serving his one game suspension, LeBron took a hit to the face himself, kicked out a fan, and then did the Sam Cassell hold my balls Selly. That was done by Fred Van Vliet as well, who received a fine, so expect LeBron to receive a fine as well. We'll get to what he did in overtime, but the Lakers may only be a 500 team right now. However, their season has been damn entertaining nonetheless, as something insane seems to happen in every one of their games. In the game versus the Pacers, LeBron passed the late great Kobe Bean Bryant for the most career points ever in overtime, and after hitting a classic step back dagger to put the Lakers up 6 in OT. LeBron whipped out the silencer celebration that he's patented, but was originated by Kobe. I have a clear memory of LeBron doing this celebration in Boston back in the day when he was with the Heat, and from his time in Cleveland to Miami and now LA, LeBron's done this celly throughout his entire legendary 19 year career. Hate on him for his antics all you want, but you have to respect his greatness. After making eight straight finals appearances last decade, LeBron's still one of the better players in the league after all the NBA mileage he's withstood. And when he shows off the silencer after hitting a massive shot down the stretch, you know the game's over. Despite Skip Bayless making a career off saying LeBron doesn't have the quote unquote clutch gene, LeBron's displayed throughout his entire playing career that he can hit clutch daggers on the road and can send packed arenas home with their heads down. What's your number one ranked celebration? Best answer gets next video shoutout. The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's shoutout goes to Ona Ebodaga, who says Clay means everything to this team. He's a top five shooter of all time, no question, and an elite defensive player who's been snubbed from multiple all NBA teams. Pause to read the rest of Ona's amazing answer. Thanks everyone for your answers or regular comments. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.